For rhetoric as such is not rooted in any past condition of human society. It is rooted in an essential function of language itself, a function that is wholly realistic and is continually born anew, the use of language as a symbolic means of inducing cooperation in beings that by nature respond to symbols. My fellow Romans, friends, countrymen, I come bringing tidings of great joy, but you must act now. This offer is available for a limited time only. Oh, you tell lies! Shame! The realistic function or use of addressed language is to induce action in people became the magical use of addressed language to induce motion in things, things by nature alien to purely linguistic orders of motivation. If we then begin by treating this erroneous and derived magical use as primary, we are invited to treat a proper use of language, for instance, political persuasion, simply as a vestige of benightedly pre-scientific magic. Hmm, this great calamity in our midst must be dealt with. I have the power! Your magic is bogus! You turned my brother-in-law into a newt! He got better. We have considered two main aspects of rhetoric, its use of identification and its nature as addressed. Since, science, since identification implies division, we found rhetoric involving us in matters of socialization and faction. Here was a wavering line between peace and conflict. Since identification is got by property, which is ambivalently a motive of both morality and strife. I say, I say, bring in the guard, call in the marines, throw that man in the brig. The rest of you fine citizens who can rally around me, double rations. Yay! Woohoo! Rhetoric is itself a subject matter belonging to an art that can prove opposites, and for this reason was forever bringing rhetoric against the possibility of malice and the lie. For, if an identification favorable to the speaker or his cause is made to seem favorable to the audience, there enters the possibility of such heightened consciousness as goes with deliberate cunning. Well, now that I have your undivided attention and support, tomorrow we shall begin my construction on a time machine for all of the scientists and a wine cellar for myself. What?